In this video, you're going to see how to summarize a full date column by month and year using the group by function in Excel. To the left, we have a data set of loan records. We have a location field and an origination date field. The objective is to total and group the loan records by location and also by origination month and year. The first input of the group by function are the row categories. Since we have multiple categories that are not adjacent to each other, we need to nest their column references within the hStack function. For our date column, we'll nest it inside the text function to change it to a month and year format. The first input of the text function is our column reference. The second input is the format style. After that, add two closing parentheses to close out the text and stack functions. The third input is our value field. Here we'll reference our loan amount column. After that, we'll input the sum option for the function type. Next, we'll go with option one to indicate we have headers, but don't want to show them. For the depth level input, we'll go with option two for grand totals and subtotals. Following that, we'll input one to sort by the first column of our output. The next input is the filter criteria. Here we'll reference column A and add a criteria of anything not equal to empty. This produces loan amount totals grouped by location and the month and year of origination. We opted not to have headers in the results because our custom month year column would not produce a valid header. We can create our own headers by nesting our formula inside the vStack function. The first input of the vStack will be our first row of headers. We need to nest the individual header values in a set of curly brackets and separate each by a comma. Don't forget to add a closing parentheses to the end of the formula. This produces custom headers to our output. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.